Dodge this. Hey guys, this is Dodger with the Game Station and you are watching Dodge This, which is my show where I talk to nerdy awesome people about the nerdy awesome things that they do. So today I have Nate who is the mind behind Squid Kids Inc. and made all of this awesome stuff that is all over my set. It's so cool. I love all of this stuff. So what what caused you to want to branch off and, and start doing stuff on your own? Well, I guess I've been in the toy industry for since school, so at least six years now. Nice. And uh, at work, you're always told what to do. Mm -hmm. No matter no matter how high up you are, you have a boss. And this was my chance to actually do what I wanted to do without anybody saying no. Yeah. Whether people like it or not, that's up to them. But I like it, and hopefully other people like it. I like it. So you're able to just uh, <laughs> be yourself, do yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's cool. How did other people? Because it's it's more than just you. Like it's a, yeah, it's a few people it's, together. Well, it's me and my girlfriend helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. And I've had a couple friends help out here and there, with, whether it's graphics or uh, just brainstorm ideas and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Did you did you just like ask them to come on or, or did they just show a lot of interest in what you were working on? And Yeah, it's usually at work. You know, I'll show them what I've been doing at home, that kind of thing. You just share. And it's kind of a collaborative yeah. feel. Yeah, as much as we can. And usually I can't do it all myself. Right. So I need help. So it all so, works yeah. out. <laughs> Where did the name come from? So a, a mentor of mine at Mattel called all the the nerdy people at work squids. And Why? apparently it's a <laughs> derogatory term to you know, for nerd essentially, which okay. is kind of a derogatory term sometimes. But <laughs> you know, th those guys were into the toys and the comics and, and the cartoons that they're making toys for and mm -hmm. He saw it as, you know, they're super nerdy, and little did he know that I'm a super nerd. So, gotcha. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just thinking, trying to think of a name for, for the company, and, and Squid just stuck in my head, and so Squid Kids, you know, just nerdy people. I like it. Be proud of what you actually like, because if you think about it, like, you know, there's sports sports geeks out there for sure. Yeah. You know, and but they, they don't think they're geeks, because they're into sports. They're into sports, which but, is definitely not geeky. But you talk to yeah, <laughs> you talk to somebody about basketball or baseball, they'll rattle off every stat that you don't want to know. Right, for sure. So, to me, it's the same kind of compulsion, mm -hmm. but just different subject matter. Awesome. So. so is that where you got the for geeks? Yeah, by geeks. Yeah, because I, I was hoping to make things for people similar to me that like whether they're odd stuff or fun stuff, cute stuff, cool stuff. So. Yeah, for sure. So what, so they're the squids, and we see a lot of squids yeah. here. They're also the squibs, and this guy's a squib, right? Yeah, so these guys are all squibs. And they're all squibs, okay. So the idea was, um, he was a baby squid. Okay. So, they're and so it, cute. And it's actually a baby squid skull is how it really started. Because my company logo was a squid skull, and squids don't have skulls, but I drew a squid skull. So <laughs> I drew a baby, or I sculpted and drew a baby squid skull, and called him a squid. And this is the beat up one. It's all shot. Aww. But uh. It's so sad. Yeah. So, and then it just kind of evolved into more more character than logo or you know kind of icon based. So. Yeah, for trying, sure. Trying to develop a story for it. Hopefully, it's a little invasion story of Earth and. These guys are taking over the planet, kind of. So. I like it. They're got fun. A, got a long ways to go on that one. <laughs> well, it's it's cool seeing like how many like you have bags with it on it and like all sorts of different yeah, stuff. Yeah, little little purses. Yeah. What's uh, uh what what do you think is is your favorite um, sort of envisioning that's happened with them like t-shirts and bags and the plushies? So like. so far the plush are what I'm most happy with right now. Mm -hmm. I mean we have a thing called a squid kid and it's this guy back here and so the idea was with this is it's part of the story where he gets a collar put around his neck and all his little tentacles form his body so then he's, he's walking around more humanoid okay and uh, he partners up with a little human boy and they they'll actually probably defend off the invasion of the squibs so I like it not quite worked out yet, but hopefully it's a good story. That's cool. Do you, do you want to expand it into like a like a comic or like a yeah, show? Yeah, it'll or? probably. I think 
thing will be come first is a storybook. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I want it to be more than that. I'd love to do a video game of it of yeah. somehow, and uh, maybe a cartoon or something. You know? I want it to be more than just product. Well, this actually has to be the end of our first video, but. If you guys would like to see the second part, you can go ahead and click on this awesome, huge uh, Nintendo cartridge <laughs> that he brought in, uh, and it will take you to my channel for Start to Continue. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining thank us, you. and tune in next time to see who we have next. Bye-bye.